Sometimes, there are too many mutants to fit on a single X-Men team. With an expanded roster that includes over a hundred heroes, reformed villains, and students with varying levels of training, the X-Men simply cannot allow all mutants to serve on a team at the same time. So, when more than a dozen mutants joined the main X-Men team, the mutants split into two groups and the gold team, with names that echo the colors of the original X-Men uniforms. While their initial runs only lasted a few years, the debut of these teams marks the first time that multiple official X-Men squads operated out of the X-Mansion simultaneously, and both groups featured in some of the most memorable moments in X-Men history. It is well known that the lineup of X-Men, the animated series was based on the blue team led by Cyclops. In this video we are going to talk about the history of both teams, their formation, breakup and subsequent return so that you can learn more about the rich history that surrounds the X-Men. Teams Blue and Gold were formed after the X-Men spent a lot of time apart. Following their journey through a mystical portal called Siege Perilous, several members of the X-Men ended up scattered across the world and began pairing up with other mutants. While some were members of other teams like X-Factor, a makeshift group of X-Men, including Forge and Banshee, gathered on Muir Island. Over time, members of these various groups began to work more closely to address threats, such as Cameron Hodge, an anti-mutant extremist, during the Extinction Agenda event. After a small group of X-Men went into space to save Professor at the end of the Muir Island Saga, the core X-Men team included 14 members. Because of this, some of its members returned to take on supporting roles, while the majority of the X-Men were split into the blue and gold teams in the pages of 1990s to Professor. Under the leadership of Cyclops, the blue X-Men team brought together Wolverine, Bija, Psylocke, Rogue, and Gambit. As the blue team's adventures continued throughout the decade, Jubilee and Quanon, an assassin whose mind was trapped in Psylocke's original body, eventually joined this team. This group also had several encounters with Maverick, Wolverine's old ally from his days as a Black Ops agent on Team X. Eventually, Cyclops left Blue Team to go on his honeymoon with Jean Grey. On their first mission, Blue Team faced Magneto and his acolytes on Asteroid M. After being defeated, they were briefly brainwashed into following the Master of Magnetism's orders and fighting Gold Team. After defeating Magneto, this group fought Omega Red for the first time and had several encounters with a group of Apocalypse's followers called the Dark Riders. In their early days, this group helped Ghost Rider fight the Brood in New Orleans and faced off against classic X-Men threats like Mr. Sinister, Sabretooth, Silver Samurai, Spiral, and Mojo. When Quanon fell ill and died from the Legacy Virus, Several members of the blue team helped Psylocke understand the nature of her complex relationship with the assassin inhabiting her body. For its part, the golden team was led by Storm and included Jean Grey, Colossus, Iceman, Archangel and occasionally Forge. The adventures of these veteran mutant heroes began in Uncanny X-Men No. 281. As the adventures of the gold team continued in later issues, Bishop joined the team after traveling back in time to the present. Jean Grey left this group when she married Cyclops, and a despondent Colossus briefly joined Magneto's acolytes after his sister, Magic, succumbed to the legacy virus. After defeating Magneto alongside Blue Team, Gold Team helped Bishop adapt to this era as he hunted Trevor Fitzroy, a time-traveling serial killer who killed Hellions with a fleet of Sentinels. During that attack, Emma Frost was also seriously injured and the Gold Team helped her recover while she in turn helped Iceman while he was injured. This group encountered the Phalanx, a race of technological aliens who conquered other civilizations through assimilation. The Gold Team also dealt with Callisto and the Morlocks, invaders from another dimension, and Mikhail Rasputin, Colossus' brother who possessed the ability to alter reality. After teaming up with X-Force, in the other team's missions, for example, Colossus joined Blue Team for a mission in Russia, and both teams worked together to stop Magneto's attack on the world during the Fatal Attractions storyline. Having worked closely together during several crises, teams Blue and Gold quietly dissolved into a larger group of X-Men in the wake of the Phalanx Covenant event. 
Since the original Blue and Gold teams reunited, the X-Men have split into groups on numerous occasions, but have only occasionally used the Blue and Gold naming structure. After Cyclops and Wolverine went to war over his visions for the team, the X-Men were divided between Cyclops' militaristic faction on Utopia Island and the group focused on Wolverine's education at the Jean Grey Institute. Comics starring Cyclops' faction carried blue logos, while titles starring Wolverine and his allies had gold logos throughout the Regenesis era. Several years later, heroes officially split again into the blue and gold teams. When the time-traveling teenage versions of Jean Grey and the original X-Men were trapped in the present day, they faced some villains like the all-new X-Men. When they separated from the rest of the mutants, they became the X-Men's new blue team. This team faced off against villains like Ahab, Bastion, Miss Sinister, and the White Queen. This group also dealt with villains from alternate realities such as the new Marauders and the Hex-Men. In addition, they had a with the X-Men of the year 2099, joined forces with Venom and faced a group of symbiote predators called the Poisons. In addition to its original members, this group was briefly led by Magneto and recruited alternate reality mutants such as Jimmy Hudson, the son of Ultimate Wolverine, and Bloodstorm, a vampiric version of Storm. During a crisis involving the mutation-generating Mothervine virus, Polaris, Dakin, Zorn, and Gazing Nightshade also briefly joined together as an impromptu blue team. When Kate Pride began leading the Xavier Institute, she brought together X-Men mainstays Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, and Rachel Gray along with Old Man Logan, an aging Wolverine from an alternate reality, to form a new gold team. Since this team operated out of the Xavier School, it grew to include several heroes hanging around the mansion, including Magic, Cecilia Reyes, Magma, Rogue, and Iceman. This gold team eventually brought in younger heroes like Armor, Ink, Hijack, and Pyro. This group faced a new brotherhood of evil mutants, as well as the Anti-Mutant Heritage Initiative and its leader, Lydia Nance. When they weren't trapped in the negative zone or locked up in prison, the gold team was also facing off against a new executioner, an advanced sentinel named Alpha, and Mesmero, who briefly took over Rachel's mind. Although the blue and gold teams teamed up for crises such as the Mojo Worldwide, Crossover and Rogue and Gambit's wedding, these groups remained independent until the young X-Men returned to the era, which effectively disbanded the blue team. Although there are no official blue or gold X-Men teams at this time, the legacy of these lineups lives on as various groups of X-Men work independently to give mutants a better future. Who knows, maybe with their recent inclusion in X-Men 97, Marvel will decide to reform both teams in the comics in the near future. For now, that's all for this video. If you want to know more about the most recent versions of these teams, I recommend watching the video that is appearing on the screen where Dave talked about the early stages of both lineups. We are the Comic Awakens and we will see you in the next video.